Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. We're still tracking widespread showers and thunderstorms across much of the Arklamas. Now, these storms have managed to stay below severe criteria. I've been using the term sub-severe for most of the morning because these storms are still producing some gusty winds around 30, 40 miles per hour, along with some heavy downpours. Here's a look at the Tower Place Tower Camera in Monroe, where you can see the rain falling in the background. Temperatures have been in the lower 60s across much of northern Louisiana. We're at 60 degrees Monroe Airport and dew points also in the lower 60s. Here's a look at Storm Tracker Doppler radar. You can see again. Nothing severe across our area, but we still can't rule out the possibility of more storms potentially becoming severe, mainly in areas south of I-20 and central parts of the state. But I would honestly say along in northern parts of, a of I-20 and in parts of South Arkansas, the severe threat has really started to diminish. And you can kind of thank all these thunderstorms that we've been picking up. They've kind of been taking away from the instability in the environment, which some of these severe storms kind of need. We had some just enough, but again, we were lacking it, and that's the reason why these storms did didn't really reach severe strength this morning, but we still have their frontal boundary down to our southwest, which is still going to push on through later today. And the severe threat does exist across areas south of I-20. So again, still can't rule the possibility of those damaging winds and hail or even an isolated tornado further down to the south. We're mainly in the upper 50s to the north. Temperatures are lower 60s across much of our region. Where dew points are also in the 50s. So again, you kind of need those dew points to be more or less in the mid to upper 60 range to really kind of get that good severe weather. And we're really lacking that in parts of South. Arkansas, so thus a severe threat further north has started to diminish today. But your best stop forecast will be in the lower 60s with those thunderstorms. Again, it's not the great morning to be out and about. Of course, this afternoon we'll continue with those showers and thunderstorms as we get upper 60s and lower 70s. So if you're looking at Future Tracker, the frontal boundary will start to push on through by later on into the evening hours, and we will see severe weather possible along that boundary layer, but again, for areas further south. Once we go into around midnight, the severe threat will completely diminish for the entire Arklamas. Then as we go into Saturday, into Sunday, clouds will decrease, high pressure settles in across the Great Plains and will be mostly clear going in the start of next week. So finishing out today, we'll continue with these shower thunderstorms this morning. This will still go on around midday where we could still see the possibility of damaging winds and hail for areas south of I-20 and central parts of the state. So Winfield, Winsboro, Jonesville, Alexandria over towards Natchez, you guys are still not out of the loop as far as severe weather today. Now the overall tornadic threat still remains relatively low, just can't be ruled out. This will be more of a wind hail type of thing, but you know, we're still getting some of those gusty winds this morning, even along I-20, but parts of South Arkansas, that severe threat has really started to diminish as dew points are struggling to get into the 60 range. So mainly winds and hail, again, flash flooding still possible even for parts of South Arkansas as we continue to see more rain and thunderstorms that much this afternoon. The slight risk has been adjusted during the morning hours today. It's kind of, kind of pushed further down to the south, kind of clipping parts of our area. Matter of fact, early this morning, most of our region was under a slight risk, but they kind of pushed it south. So again, central parts of the state are at that greatest risk. Now, one to three inches of rainfall is still possible. We could hit around four from areas from Vicksburg down across southern parts of I-20, but even south Arkansas is still possible to see more rainfall. So we have that slight risk for the flood threat for today. So kind of bear that in mind for some low line spots and areas with poor drainage. Betting high 70 degrees for this afternoon. Tonight, temperatures will fall to the mid 50s as storms begin to exit and tomorrow clouds will start decreasing as temperatures cool to the mid 60s. Later on next week, sunshine will return. We'll be back to the lower 70s, but more thunderstorms are possible by next Thursday.